Hi, my name is Miles, and if you were searching for using a compass without a map, then you've come to the right place. On my channel, I'm always releasing videos about survival skills and survival techniques, so consider subscribing. And remember, any time during this video, you can click on the link below on the bottom and get my free video series on survival skills. Now to the content. What you wanted to do is you want to learn how to use a compass without a map, and I'm here to teach you that right now. So what we need to do is we need to get out your compass, the first thing you need to do. Get a compass, okay? I have a mirrored compass. Now there are three types of compasses, but I mean the two that I know, base plate comp compass and then there's a mirrored compass. A base plate compass is used normally just for when you're putting it on a map, well, it's it's used to, to lay on a map. And when you, when you hold it, you need to hold it very flat. But when you have a mirrored compass, what you do, the first thing you wanna do is you put it around your neck and that way you put it up like this and there's a mirror right here so you can see the dial inside. Now what I'm gonna teach you is the different parts of the compass. Now the first part is the magnetic needle. needle. Come closer and let me teach you this real quick. The first thing you have on a compass is you have the magnetic needle inside, okay? Then you have the base plate. And what the base plate does is the base plate points to where you wanna go, right? That's what the base plate's job is, okay? The magnetic needle always points north. The red needle always points to magnetic north no matter what, okay? And then this right here is called the housing. And what this has on it is it has a north, a south, and an east and a west, right? And so what you wanna do is if you are looking at your map, and it's a big map, okay? Let's go up here. If you're looking at a map, and it's a big map, right? And you see that you're here in this city right here, right? And you know that you just wanna go west, but you wanna use a compass to do it, here's what you're gonna do. You, you first look at the map and then you realize that you only want to go west, right? Or just a little bit, you know, that way. So we're going to go down here to the compass, right? And we're going to put the, the housing W on the point where it points, where your compass points you to go, right? <clears throat> then what you want to do is you want to, you take this, Inside this housing, there's a needle right there, right? And it's pointing to, you know, this is gonna be, this is gonna be pointing west, right? And then there's, the, wherever this needle is, is where it is. And what you wanna do is you start turning the compass and the red needle will start moving. And when it moves and it goes inside that other needle, that's north. Right, and it says north on there because I just happen to be wanting to go to be going west. So what I would do is I would walk come up here. What I would do is I would walk around the compass, right, like this, and then you pick up the compass and you put it on your neck, right? Because this right here says that that magnetic north is pointing that way, and you need to have the compass inside you need to have the red arrow inside the other arrow at all times and when that happens this will be pointing west and it doesn't matter nothing else matters okay trust the fact that when the red is in the shed is what they say when the red arrow is inside the other arrow wherever this is pointing that's the direction you're going whatever this says on this little dial right here that's the direction you're going, which right now would be west, okay? And that is how you use a compass, you know? So I want to, it's not that hard to use a compass. There's only three parts to it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today and feel free to leave comments at the bottom. Give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing. And remember, anytime you can check out my free video series on survival skills. You know, it's up to you, no pressure. Anyway, this is Miles, have a good day.